All right, it's me again. Um, there's a cemetery right there. Now I've done some uh, metal detecting over here before, and it was right over there at the national, I mean, nature park or whatever it is over there. And uh, there's a horse trail coming down right here, as you can see. It goes right on by here, and then right down, all the way down to the houses down there. And a lot of horses use this trail, so I'm going to go ahead, and there's a lot of dirt here. I'll try metal detecting here. And um, you never know, I might find something. Today might be the day. I might not post this if not, though. But that's it for, for now. I'll go ahead and uh, get started. Oh yeah, I parked right here on the street. I didn't see no no parking signs, because they're trying to charge me five bucks to park right over there, so I said forget it. But anyways, that's it. Alright, I got it sounds like a good signal to me. Then I'll kick the dirt. Still a signal there. So I'm going to go ahead and shovel it. I don't usually do two shovels, but since I only have one hand right now. Okay, I got it. There it is. Piece of aluminum. Well, that was a good signal, so on to the next dig. Alright, the sun's starting to go down, so I think I'm going to hike on back down to my car here. But I wanted to let you guys know one thing before I go. For you people that metal detect. This is like a the wildlife sanctuary, and uh, I've been here before. And I've got a lot of change out of here because cars used to park here. They've opened it up for parking over there. But that's besides the fact. What I'm trying to say here is, see how this comes in here? And you could search all this area around here and not find anything. But you come right up to the edge of the street. And I'll show you tomorrow how many coins I found so far. I found quarters, dimes, pennies, nickel. A nickel. But <laughs> I hope I got a whole pocket full here. Pretty good amount. So right along the edge where the dirt meets the, the whatever, this asphalt. Um, it's where I found most of it. Just like right in there. Going right along. All that. It's right in there. And I could keep going and keep finding more because I only made it to here. I still got to go all the way up there. And I could go all the way around on that side. But anyways, that's all I wanted to say for now. All right, here it is, day two, and I'm still metal detecting. Um, I spent about an hour last night, found some silver. So I'm on California Street, this is for my record. Um, I went all the way down to the recycling center down there, and back to the liquor store down there where I'm parked. And that's, um, I'm probably going to do a clean out when I get home, show you what I got. That's it. Alright, I'm at the entrance of Wiley Labs. There's like a little guard shack there. And uh, you get in through those gates there. I wish I could go in there. But they say it's radioactive. They were doing testing of uh, bomb, uh, not bombs, but rockets. Rocket testing. And they say it's kind of radioactive back there, so... In fact, I got a lot of lawsuits by the people of the town here thinking that they caused cancer for those people, but I don't think so. Anyways, I was going to try metal detecting this dirt area here. And maybe over around the edge there. I know it says no trespassing, but I'm staying on this side of the gate. So hopefully I'll be okay. So I'm going to get to it. I'll do a live dig if I can. I heard if my thing is like crazy from radio radiation or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, I think I found my first find here. I already dug it, obviously, but I saw it before I even picked it up, so I turned the camera on. And it's a dime. 
I wish I could see the date, but I can't. Um, we'll see what that is when I get home. But here, I'm still at the Wiley Labs. I'm up here by the guard shack and the gate. So hopefully I'm not getting too much radiation. All right, back to digging. I'll try to do another live dig. All right, I haven't even picked this up yet. I know it's a ring. I found a ring. I'm pretty excited. It's probably a Cracker Jack box one, but I see a diamond. It's a little bent. Oh, but... I don't know. I don't know. It looks silver. Maybe white gold. It's not like real dirty or anything. So yeah. If that's a diamond, hey, I scored. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm happy. I got a ring finally. Been a while. I think I got one other one. But uh, I don't even care if it's fake. It sounded good on the thing. Um, I'll probably go home and f finish this up now. I did get this right here at Wiley Labs. Surprisingly enough, I never thought there would be a ring here. I mean, this is like a crazy find. Wow. Well, I'm stoked. All right, that's it for now. All right, I'm home now. Um, yeah, uh, I'm all excited right now. So let me see here. I got 25 pennies, uh, four quarters, uh, I think four dimes, or three dimes, and um, all this other junk. There's a lot of copper, like this end on a sprinkler here. It's an old fitting, so it's brass. So I got some brass. Here's an actual copper pipe that's flattened out. Got run over by a million cars by. Now I started saving these lead things. I didn't save these before, but I realized lead's expensive, so... I'm going to go ahead and save those. Lots of aluminum pieces, like pretty big pieces. Like that's aluminum, you can just, it's light. There's some old, I think it's a lock off a truck. You got the chain there, you know, so they don't look at their load. I haven't really cleaned it up yet. Um, pair of tweezers, always good for a prospector. You know, you get those nose hairs and stuff. I mean, yeah, getting gold out of your sluice that's what I'm talking about here's the bigger stuff I found I found a horseshoe and it brought me luck you'll see why in a minute and here's a broken horseshoe that told me I was gonna have good luck and I got this I think this might be copper but I'm not sure I have to clean it and see this was pretty interesting I don't know if it's aluminum with shiny stuff on it but it's weird. It's kind of cool though. But anyways, there it is. And it says right on it. I was looking through my loop and I couldn't focus it in. I was like, what is that? What is that? I see a 5. And it said 925. CC 925. And I'm hoping those are real diamonds. It looks old. So it's silver. Uh, we'll see. And I found this another silver piece here off a horse saddle. I believe that I was on my second spot I hit. Or, no, maybe it was the first spot. Yeah, it was the first spot. I found this, and then I found this on the third spot. Because I hit three spots. Anyways, I'm so stoked on this ring. You don't even know. I've been waiting to get a ring or something cool. You know, that's a pretty big diamond. And I don't think they had zirconian. As old as this looks. So, And each, uh, each spot in the back of that has a hole. And there's diamonds all the way around the edge and then looks like a big one right in the center. So I'm pretty stoked. Yeah. Um, I'll be going out Wednesday to Ransbird. Go dig for some gold with my friend Larry. And I'll make a video. And um, well, that's it for this one. I'm pretty happy. I'm going to keep, keep metal detecting. And uh, you should try to get out there yourself and do some metal detecting. It's a lot of work, but you know what? You get good exercise and you're out in the... Well, I live in California, so it's really nice, to say the least. But anyways, that's it for now. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh.